Hello, I'm Gary Geisler, one of the technical solutions architects for Cisco Plus Secure Connect. If you've seen one of my videos before, you'll know that I usually go through our dashboard to show you how easy it is to configure many of the capabilities we have in Cisco Plus Secure Connect. Today, we're going to do something a little different. I want to show you what it is to be an end user with Cisco Plus Secure Connect. How do I access maybe a private application just through my browser? Really, really easy. Great for temporary workers, great for contractors, or even just making the access easy for your actual employees. So I want to access our finance portal. So I'll just go to my bookmarks bar here, click on that, or go to the URL if I have that available. It's going to ask me to log in using my email address and then my password here. This is going to be authenticated against our identity provider, as well as looking at our posture components. So it's going to evaluate whether we've got the proper browser type and version, operating system type and version where available, as well as a geolocation capability in posture. So all of that was evaluated, and you can see my finance portal came up here. So I have access to the private applications that I need. Now I'll show you an alternative way of doing this where I'm using a different browser. I'm going to the same finance portal using the same credentials here. And what I will see is that same evaluation is going to happen for the operating system type, browser type, and so on. And what I'll see here in just a moment is that I will actually be blocked from accessing said resource. It says Firefox is not compliant with my requirement. So I'm using a browser that's not allowed, so I'm being blocked access. This is a part of our least privileged access. So we can set policy to control who can access what. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you come back again.